Hi and welcome to Angling View. Today you join me for another one of these little update videos. I'm trying to churn one out one a day. Whether I'll be able to sustain it, I don't know. But I'll do my best whilst we're all locked in. So today's video, um, I've been posting out there for a few comments of what people want to see and what I can actually achieve from being at home. Um, and one that's popped up, uh, two that's popped actually. One is about how to maintain and clean your pole, which is going to be tomorrow's uh, video. And the, one, uh, the other one I'm going to do today is a little bit about elastics, what we do, um, you, what, what we do use for certain things and a little bit of difference around top kits as well uh, that I've got and what I've got in my setup. Um, so we're not going to mess about, we'll go straight into it. Now the, um, the, the Z82 comes with um, eight top kits. Now, it's a mixture of match and power. I uh, talked to Reno and managed to get all mine as power kits, so that really works better for the kind of fishing that I do. Although some of them have got thinner, a lot of them have got thinner elastics through. Uh, we'll go through each top kit and see what they are and what they've got. Um, but I also got three um, MAP F1 shallow kits. Now they are a lot shorter than one piece and they fit perfectly onto the Browning pole and at about 40 quid a pop they're uh, a really decent sort of price and also i were lucky enough kelv sorted me out and i got three for 90 quid off him so i can't really complain at that because some of the other people um pay nearly 100 quid for just a, a spare top kit like an inter elastic kits and things like that so anyway we're going to go into there so what I, what i'm going to do is we'll we'll go through sort of each one that, that we've got in the kit i'm just going to move that cupping kit out of the way i'll go through what I've got in my bag and what elastics and what scenarios we're going to use them for. So the first one that we've got in here, uh, in fact actually this is um, the cupping kit. So it is similar to a power kit to be fair, it's just, it just is a power kit, um, but I, obviously I've had the, to, the glue the top on and that's obviously from a cupping kit but you could actually use these as uh, a, power, a power top to, top two if you really wanted to but obviously they are a cupping kit um, and they don't have any side pullers but that uh, that one will just stick out of the way in the corner because we don't need that one um, but this one here we'll start with this one so this is one of the map f1 kits now a lot of you have seen uh, F1 kits, and there is a lot of universal kits that will they'll fit um, each different pole, not necessarily the pole that you've got. Um, but if you go somewhere like Angler Direct, Bobco, that kind of thing, you'll be able to see um, what they've got. Now they're going to some of these will be a bit grim, like this one's a bit grim. Um, but this is what I'm leaving towards showing you on the next video. So first one of this like i was saying it's one piece which means there's no join in there and it's quite a, a thick sort of uh, one piece kit um and i use it all um with a thin elastics i don't use the big elastics uh in any of the f1 shallow kits and, and to, in my opinion you don't want to be doing anything like that anyway it takes it up to 10 solid and four to ten hollow is what it, it is what the guide is so even though they are fat you don't want to be putting big elastics through but to be fair when you're shallow fishing you want to fish swim off and not spook the, the shoal so you don't want to you don't want them anyway so this has got um, a side puller reinforced um, as all the map kits do and we've got a, a white hollow through there and that's um, one of the hybrid fusion uh, sort of uh, elastics and that's around that sort of 8 to 10 size so like I was saying really light um, and really comes out really easy so obviously been stretched a little bit so what, what I'm saying there is when you've got um, an F1 kit don't don't load it up with thick big donkey elastics the, the, you, you just don't need it so put a thin elastic in you're gonna use it for catching those F1s and you wanting them to swim out or, or it might even be eyed um, you're gonna want them to be swimming out the swim so get that one out of the way so this next one so before I got um, my, some of my Progen elastics, um, I did a few of the power kits up with um, elastics that I've felt like I've, I get sort of a, a really good 
relationship with if you want um, and the, uh, people have all got the favourites Girolos, hi, um you know Daiwa um, uh, Elastics and Midi IVs and all that kind of stuff um, and I've used all those um, the, the traditional Preston Hollows, the Jura Hollows, hollows. Um, and obviously like I say this one's just been tightened up um, with my bead so it's a good idea that's just a quick thing to put on there there's a little bead on there you can slide that down so if I feel like um, I'm, I'm going down the edge maybe and but the fish aren't still massive I don't really want to change my top kit over um, and I just want to tighten it up then I slide that bead down there and it'll tighten up the elastic and then if I slide it back up I can fish with it shallow and you know we're away so power kit wise like i said um I, I got all mine as power kits so this is one of the browning power kits it's got um, a, a browning slot there it's also got another uh, additional um hole if you wanted a bit further back um i just like the the slots that work for me um a lot of people say they shred elastics and never had a problem with them um in the year that i've had them um that's not to say that other people haven't but i go on with them fine so again this is two piece um so like we were saying before, two piece elastic, two piece uh, sections. And um, this one is a ten to fourteen, so it's a little bit of a more heavier side. But I, I always over, um, I always put over slightly. I don't tighten it too much down, so you can see it's supple, and that's why I like the frenzy elastic. It's really supple, really nice sort of um, slip on it, and it and it comes out so smooth. Um, so that's that's one of my first power kits. So I'll put that one back in. Now the next one is a six to ten frenzy, um, and like I said before, I, I haven't really got many sort of thick elastics. I, don't, I just don't, I just just don't need them nowadays. Realistically, unless you know you're doing stupid margin fishing and ragging them about, but it's just not my game. I don't, I don't, I don't like ragging fish about. Um, so again, power kit, two sections. Um, as, as I said before, um, I, I love them. They're so so strong. They're really really stiff. Um, and this one has got that that six to ten. And I, I love this uh, elastic. And I, I fished um, some some really good sh shallow sessions before. I got the the pro gen stuff, and you know it's so smooth. Like I was saying with the other ones, it's so smooth. It's easy to see as well um, when you uh, when you've got bad light or poor conditions. Um, and it uh, really is uh, a, a decent elastic. So that's that, that that one. We'll put that one away. And I'm going to just open this one here because this is another one. As you can see, these longer tubes. These are the um, F1 shallows. So again, it's uh, one piece. So it, we've, this one's a little bit tighter, um, elastic-wise. It's around an, an eight to ten. This one. This is one of the hybrid fusion elastic the progen ones um and it's uh, a little bit tighter in this top kit than than not than the other ones it does come out lovely and supple um but i, I tighten this one up a little bit um for fishing close in uh, but again absolute lovely elastic is the hybrid fusion um uh, progen elastic really got on well with it this season once i once i got that elastic um, I, I've been using the Hydra uh, core and the and hybrid fusion all the time. So this one is another frenzy one, and this one is eight to twelve. So we're all around that similar um, size bracket. We don't. I don't go really, really thick elastics that much, if I'm honest. Sometimes in the winter, I'll do a double number four or, or a number, double number three uh, slip, Preston slip. But I do like that in the, in the winter, um, but we just not had much chance of using it, to be honest, this year. Um, but again, this is really supple elastic, this frenzy. Um, and again, with the high vis, I do like the high vis. Uh, and you can see them really well in the water. Uh, all on Dacrons, obviously. I, I use, uh, I've, I've got some, some of my Dacrons are Daiwa um, and some are Drennan if gun to my head i would say drennan are better i feel that daiwa's um braid is a little bit soft it's it's a little bit it's not stiff i feel like that the drennan ones they have some form of coating on there that makes it quite stiff uh, and it just works better for me 
um, for getting it off mainly and I do tie a double loop in there which we, we might save for another video um, to make it easier to get off but we'll explain, explain that later on so this is my thickest elastic so this is 14 to 18 um, Pro Gen and this is the Hydrocore um, but the thing is with this like you'll find when I show you it's not it's so supple um, like people straight away think 14 to 18 that, that's massive da, da, da. it's it's so supple I mean look it's so smooth um, and I obviously have it slightly slackened off um, but I've had a few people that have, have come up and I let them fish with my pole um, or fish on my pole and and I'll, I'll wind it for you you, you can see <laughs> it's it's still and it's still it's beautiful elastic is that the hydrocore um and even though it's a thick elastic people are really surprised um that how well how supple it is for a thick elastic now all i can relate it to um to be honest is i used to have phil reynolds use a lot of phil reynolds elastic um and it was really supple but then when it, when you needed it to it really powered up and that's exactly what that that friend that hydrocore uh, progen one does it, I mean, it's, it's amazing stuff it really is so frenzy this is my last i think my last one of the frenzy elastics that i've got and this is a five to eight so this is my baby elastic basically if i'm silver fishing or i'm really small carp um or even eyed fishing shallow then i'll use this um as you can imagine it's really really um thin elastic actually had um, near enough uh, 12 pounder on this uh, from tom's pond and it took me like half an hour to get it in even with a puller kit just couldn't move it um because obviously it just swam straight into where i'm fishing uh chop worm and castor if you check that out the videos on there um but yeah super supple and again really decent elastic the frenzy stuff um so I, I would recommend the frenzy but for me uh pro, the progen elastics somewhere else it's just so, i just got so much confidence in it and i suppose that's what it is is just having confidence in your elastics um and i've, I've got loads of confidence in the in the uh, progen elastic so this this bad boy is a really small elastic um, again in in the one of the uh, puller kits um, and this is a sort of a really small six elastic six hollow um, and that that's a hybrid hybrid fusion elastic from progen and it, again it's super supple and i'd use that for it's on a shallow kit because i'd use that for um i'd usually on um fishing uh, alders at uh, oaks lakes that's uh, it's a, one of my favorites for sort of the October time um, <clears throat> to catch eye on there and, and really decent so we're going on to some of my other elastics and these are these are hydrocore again and this is a 9 to 13 and um, progen again so obviously on the power kits as before it's a good thing to do as well if you you've got your match kits or your power kits just make sure you, you measure that top kit um, your cupping kit against that top kit so then just when you're fishing you've got that accurate drop in from where you uh, where you're fishing um, so here again it's one of those power kits um, and with the elastic there um, again it's nice and supple really nice sort of feeling um, and super supple through um, straight action through through and, and, and I've just got so much confidence in it and uh, to be honest uh what while i'm off um I, i've got some obviously some elastic uh, uh some stuff on my elastic and it um it's uh good to to rotate your elastics and change them per season i've had a few in my bag which i, I changed over winter so a lot of these are uh, quite fresh elastics um so i would say that get get some lubricant on there um while you're off now get some lubricant on them so when they're sat if it's getting hot, hot in your shed and things like that you just keep them all ready to for when we can go back out so this is a, a, fif a 15 um to 60 15 to 17 sorry uh progen again you forget how many top kits you've got sometimes so again this one 
it, it looks a bit thick but again it's it's a great one for pace that's pretty much all i use this one for um maybe margin fishing um as well but it's super uh, amount of confidence in there again and i will uh, use that mainly for pace So the last one we've got is a 10, 10 to 14 uh, Progen Hydrocore again. And again, just like the others, it, it's just a super, super supple elastic. Um, really easy to see and really easy to, uh, to fish with. It just gives you fuller confidence and you just get a lot of feedback from it. Now, just a little bit before we sign the video off, just a little bit about what we're using uh, things for. So, I use pretty much hollow elastic. Um, I use hollow elastic all the, all the way. That's not to say that, you, that, that solid's not good. Um, hollow elastics tend uh, have more stretch. That's basically why a lot of people use them, because they're softer. You can get control over the fish, it allows them to run and you've got a lot more stretch and a lot more forgiveness. Um, solid elastics is a bit more if you're trying, you've got a really snaggy peg or you have lilies, um, it allows you to bully a little bit more and it, but it also allows you to have a direct feel on the fish. Um, so they have got the positives and the lower solids I like in the winter uh, with the smaller fish, um, although I do use hollows as well. Um, I, I, I do find them really, really good uh, to, to play fish, and I've caught sort of double figure fish on doubled four and things like that, no problem. Um, so, realistically, um, elastic wise, there's so many, and it's just about finding what what you want. I mean, the ha I get a lot of the Pro Gen ones because um, they're really, really reasonable price, it's around six quid, um, which are amazing for what they are. Cause you go into it, most elastics are 11, 12 and upwards quid in the shop, so you've got to really think about what, what you want to fish with. Um, but sort of your smaller elastics, you, you're going to use those on sort of your snake lakes and your small ponds, not as much snagginess, fishing to Ireland so you can ship back, all that kind of thing. Um, your higher grade ones, you might fish um, the supple higher grade ones around the sort of 10 to 14 you might be fishing a little bit more snaggy or um, you might be fishing shallow for carp bigger carp um, so it allows you to have a little bit more bullying power but still supple enough to take those runs and those hits and then anything really above that you're going to be pace fishing or you're going to be fishing down the edge for those big big fish that a lot of time you may only have a top kit or a top kit plus one or top or, or top th top four maybe max um, and it just gives you that that comfortable uh, stretch but allows you to put to be under control and power up on that fish um, so yeah that's really just a little run through of what elastics I have what ones I run at the moment um, no doubt they'll be swapping and changing to probably some newer pro gen ones uh, this year like I say I've, 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 I've redone a few of them there's a couple the couple that could get done uh, I mean I've got a lot of kits and, and, and realistically more kits than I'm going to need, need unless I fish, go back into fishing matches but I do rotate them and I do try to utilise them for what uh, I use the, you know what uses they're for so um, hopefully you enjoyed the video and it's just a little bit of it, uh, into mine any, any questions feel free to drop it in the, the links below um, I'll keep trying to do these daily ones and giving back as much as I can doing my part in the lockdown and trying to give you some content and some things that you can uh, enjoy to watch whilst you're, you're stuck away. So watch out for tomorrow's video. Like I say, it's gonna be about how to clean your pole. A lot of you know, just gonna run down the way I do it. People have asked for my opinions and how, and how I do it. So I'll run through that and go give that one. Uh, any more things that you wanna see that I can physically do. Uh, I'm gonna go and do some hook tying ones and things like that um, as well. And some rigs and we'll do some things like that as well in the afternoons where we've got a bit of sun out here and I can uh, I can lay it out for you but thank you for all your support keep those uh, comments coming really enjoy reading the comments and I'm, I'm glad I'm, it, that these are helping people um, whilst getting withdrawal symptoms and things at home from uh, from the uh, fishing typical bloody lovely weather and we can't get out 
Might be thinking about digging an hole in the garden soon. I'm sure a few of you's fish tanks looking pretty good um, at the moment. So yeah, thanks a lot for, for watching. Join us on the Facebook group, Angling For You. Join us on the Instagram at angling underscore for you. Like and subscribe guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Tight lines.